Hi, I'm Lisa Chaffee from Action Coach in Reading and today I'm going to talk to you about how to attract more great customers into your business. So one of the things I get asked a lot about from my clients and prospects is I just need more customers. More great customers though. So what does actually more and what does great look like in your business? So how many more customers do you need and what does a great customer look like? Now, the way I generally start with a client is, let's look at what the characteristics are of your existing, already great customers. So you could pull up a list of all of your clients and uh, next to each of them, perhaps grade them A, B, C and D. So what does an A grade client look like to you? Well, an A grade client are just fantastic to work with. They never quibble on price. They're a delight to work with. They pass you fantastic referrals. And doing business with them is just a really good, great place. You want more customers just like them. Your B grade customers, well, they're more bread and butter type customers. Again, they're great to deal with. Uh, perhaps they don't buy your, your top value product or service, but they're great to do business with and they can easily be upgraded to A grade customers too. Perhaps creating raving fans and wowing them at every stage of working with you will create those A or A plus clients. Your C grade clients, perhaps they're a bit of a struggle to deal with. Perhaps when you see their name come up on your phone, you start to think, oh God, it's them again. Perhaps they are late paying your invoices. They quibble on price. They always are looking for a deal. Maybe they don't refer you very easily and perhaps they give you a few problems in your day-to-day -day running of your business. But your D grade clients, well, we really need to look at those and address them. What makes them a D grade client? What is it that about working with them that you're struggling with and perhaps they're finding it a struggle too. Perhaps they really never pay your invoices and you're always having to chase. Perhaps maybe they're even rude to you or your team and that's definitely not the sort of customers you want to be working with. So grading your customers A, B, C and D can be a, really, a really great place to start. What I tend to find is the 80-20 principle applies here. I suspect 80% of your profits are coming from the top 20% of your customers that you're working with. So I'm not saying go out there and sack all your D-grade clients, uh, I'm not saying that by any means, but we want to attract more of the A's and B's into your business. So let's have a look at how we might do that. So let's look at now creating a client avatar. Having a client avatar really clear in your mind is really important so that you'll know exactly who it is you're looking to attract into your business. The way I like to start is actually thinking of who your A-grade customer is and perhaps model this on them. Now bear in mind, you may have five, 10, 15 ideal types of clients that you might create client avatars for, depending on what product or service you're looking at. So when we look at creating a client avatar, perhaps we look at geography. Perhaps they need to be based within 30 minutes from you or X amount of miles. It could be what, whether they're male or female. It could be done on age. It could be done on what type of business industry it is, how many employees they've got. Once you've got really clear on who they are, and perhaps that's geography based, what type of industry you're looking for, perhaps what job, what job title they have, you're gonna get a really clear understanding of perhaps where you need to be targeting your marketing to appeal to those types of people. It could be that you look at what sort of car do they drive? Where do they shop? All of these things can be um, applicable to certain businesses that I'm working with. Once you're clear on who they are, you can then look to um, identify whereabouts they hang out. So where do you then need to do your lead generation for your marketing to appeal to those great types of people? If you're B2B, perhaps that could be LinkedIn. LinkedIn could be your number one lead generation strategy to appeal to your ideal type of customer. If you're a B2C customer um, business, perhaps you need to advertise in some local magazines that go to the schools or in some of the supermarkets or Find a different route, depending on what it is that you do, will have a very different impact on what lead gen uh, tools you use to get in front of those ideal prospects. Once you're really clear on who it is that you're targeting and where they hang out and where you can find them, you really then just need to hone your messaging. So how are you going to become the magnet to those people so that they come to you? So when you're using your marketing, the words you use, the images that you use, the video that you use, 
needs to appeal to that type of person. So you need to get really clear on what is the problem that they want solving. What is their pain point? What is it that keeps them up at night? See, when you get really clear on why it is they buy what you offer or sell, then you can talk to them in their language. You see, if you try and do blanket marketing and appeal to everyone, you'll probably end up appealing to no one. So I call that scattergun marketing. What we really need to get you doing is more sniper marketing. So get really laser focused on who it is you're targeting, what their problem is, and where they're hanging out, and appeal to them so that then you become the magnet and you're solving their problems. That is how you attract fantastic new customers into your business that are a delight to work with. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to attract new great customers into your business. If you found it useful, please just comment below, share it with your friends and family and networks. And if you've got any questions at all, then just drop me a line. My name's Lisa Chaffee. I'm a business coach for Action Coach in Reading, and I'll see you again soon.